Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have our 10th multi-battle, where I am once again teaming up with Sarah to take on the team of Joey Fontaine and Steven. All three of these people are no strangers to the channel. And as you can see, uh, my side is using uh, some pretty interesting things, whereas uh, the opposing team is using some pretty strong things. So it should definitely make for another good match, and we're going to get right into it. So again, with this being a multi-battle, uh, predicting and strategizing is kind of limited, uh, but Joey is going to lead with uh, Landris, and Steven is going to lead with Metacham, as uh, I led with Wigglytuff, and Sarah led with Gengar. So the uh, Landris Intimidate is going to activate to lower my Wigglytuff's attack, but that is actually going to trip its competitive uh, to sharply increase the special attack, which is really nice for me. Also going to lower the uh, Gengar's attack, not really going to matter though since it is special. And the Metacham is going to go straight for the Mega Evolution, of course, into Mega Metacham. And uh, that is just going to go for the fake out on me to get some chip damage and, of course, the uh, mandatory flinch. The Gengar is going to go for the Shadow Ball in return, which is going to one-shot kill the Metacham there and uh, drop Steven down to two Pokemon right away. Um, but uh, Joey is going to go ahead and bust out the Z-move here on the Landorus, which turns out to be the Flying Z-move, which is, of course, the Supersonic Sky Strike. So uh, no doubt this is coming off of Fly, and um, he is actually going to hit my Wigglytuff with it, uh, ironically nicknamed Joey Fontaine, and unfortunately that is going to uh, take out poor Joey before he gets to do anything there. That is going to drop me down to two Pokemon right away. So Steven is going to come in with the Zerkatry as I am going to come in with my Como O. So, um, the Gengar is going to uh, hit that Zergatry with a Sludge Bomb. That is going to drop it down to about a quarter health, but it does survive. And uh, then Steven is going to go ahead and bust out his Z-move as well um, on the Zergatry, which is going to be the Psychic Z-move, which is, of course, going to be the Z-Hypnosis. So, um, he is going to hit that to put my uh, Como O to sleep, but more importantly, he is going to get a speed increase off of that as well. So, that is... Um, Pretty scary setting up there, um, and the Landorus is going to go ahead and go for the fly there. Um, of course, I am asleep, nothing I can do, as the Zergatry is going to go for a Thunderbolt, which is going to knock the Gengar down into the red, but it does survive with 16 health. Go for a Shadow Ball, and that is going to take out the Zergatry, fortunately for us. That is going to drop Steven to just one Pokemon. As I'm going to wake up this turn, I am going to go for the Dragon Dance, which is going to give me an attack and speed increase, uh, trying to set up as well as the uh, Landorus is going to hit me up with a Fly, which I actually do live in the red with 13 health, which was pretty nice. So then uh, Steven is going to come in with the Tapu Fini, and that is going to get the Misty Surge to uh, set the Misty Terrain on the battlefield. So uh, I'm going to go for the Outrage here. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose the target with that move for some reason, so it is random. I end up landing on the Tapu Finny, so it's not going to affect it, which is really unfortunate for us. Um, the Gengar is going to hit it with a Sludge Bomb, taking it to the red, but it does survive. And then it is going to uh, hit the Gengar with a Skull to finish that off, dropping Sarah to two Pokemon, as uh, the Landorus uh, did just fly once again, and the uh, Tapu Finny will restore some HP with the Leftovers. So then uh, Sarah is going to come in with the High Dragon, and uh, I'm just going to go for another Dragon Dance here uh, to go ahead and get another uh, attack and speed increase. Um, not really going to matter, though, uh, because the High Dragon is just going to go for the Flash Cannon, which will uh, finish off the Tapu Fini regardless, uh, which is actually going to eliminate Steven from the match, making this a two-on-one situation in our team's favor. Um, but the Landris is going to connect with the Fly this turn once again to actually finish off my Como O, dropping me down to just one Pokemon. So then I am going to come in with my Delmise, and um, the High Dragon is going to uh, hit another Flash Cannon, this time on the Landris, taking it down a little below half, as he is just going to keep going for the Fly there. Um, I just went for an Anger Shot, so not going to connect, of course. 
Um, so this turn, um, again, the High Dragon just going for the Flash Cannon, going to miss thanks to the Fly. Um, he is going to hit me up with the Fly there, which does uh, take me into the red, but I do survive that with 7 health, which was nice, which is going to let me go for an Anchor Shot. Unfortunately, it, this thing does survive that in the red as well. And then I am going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So uh, the High Dragon, of course, is going to outspeed once again here and just go for one more Flash Cannon, which will... Uh, finish off the Landorus finally there, uh, dropping Joey down to two Pokemon. I'm just going to go for the Anchor Shot again, not going to do anything, and I am going to regain some more HP with the Leftovers. Not really going to matter though, since I am very weak, and that is going to be it for the Misty Terrain. So, um, then Joey is going to go ahead and come in with the Charizard, and uh, Sarah is going to switch out the Hydreigon here, guessing uh, that thing is choice itemed in some way. So she is going to switch in with the Malamar as uh, Joey is going to go for that Mega Evolution into Mega Charizard X. And um, he is going to go for a Dragon Claw here, uh, which will be more than enough to finish off uh, my Delmise and actually eliminate me from the match, making this a one-on-one -on -one situation, uh, Sarah versus Joey. So um, Joey is going to go for that Dragon Dance um, this turn to go ahead and get that attack and speed increase on the Charizard. Um, the Malamar is just going to hit him up with a Rock Slide in return, uh, which does take him down by a little less than half, uh, which was not too bad. But um, the Charizard is going to go for the Dragon Claw this turn, which uh, does knock the Malamar into the red, um, but it does survive with 24 health and then uh, get the Citrus Berry to regain some HP, um, as well go for the Super Power, uh, which is going to knock this thing into the red, but it does survive and it also grants the uh, attack and defense boost via the contrary ability. So, um, the uh, Charizard is just going to go for the Flare Blitz this turn, which will of course be more than enough to finish off the Malamar, despite the defense increase, uh, dropping Sarah to just one Pokemon. And unfortunately, the Charizard does survive there uh, in the red with like 1 HP off the recoil damage. So Sarah does come back in with the Hydreigon. Unfortunately, it ends up not being Choice Scarf, so it will just get outsped there and one shot killed from a Dragon Claw. And that is game. So, uh, my team did end up losing that one, but that was still a good match. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So, that's it, and we'll see you next time.